Yes, 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 my friends. It's another beautiful day down here in beautiful South Florida. I know you see that sweat on my head. It's Pierre Nicholson from Broken Nation. Down here in beautiful South Florida, man. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, and you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. I'm out here in the beautiful Hillcrest community, Hollandale Beach, Hollywood area, man. And it is going down. Right now, I'm looking at Alexander by the Polter Homes, man. And this one is going for around $480,000, a little bit over that. Nice, it's a three bedroom, two and a half bath. It got a loft, it's a two store and a two story garage. And man, look, Portland Homes got a lot of good incentives for these kind of series. They only got 25 lots left. Look, 72% of the lots overall are gone. So you know they're flying. They're currently in phase two and three. So if you're interested, hey, contact me. I can set up a, a showing for you, okay? This house currently got eighty to $100,000 of upgrades in it. So even with the upgrades, between eighty dollars to $100,000, you're looking around five sixty, five eighty, dollars which is still very affordable. Enough of me talking. Let's check this out. Look at that, man. I love how the entranceway got a little stacked stone look. That is beautiful. Nice door with the, the window in it. And as soon as you come in, you got the stairs to the right of you. And feel that AC, man. Let me, look, let me close this door. Woo! To preserve this AC. Nice stairs. It got the carpet on it. You can have it carpeted or you could do whatever you like. Okay. Let's go forward, man. Again, you got this nice um, wood looking tile on the floor, which is nice. And it looks real as for real. It looks for real, but it's tile. Okay, to the left, you got your garage. You got the electrical right there. You got your water heater. Okay, I know you heard that the door talks. I mean, the door, the house talks to you, okay? That's the security system, which is this right here. Boom. This works with all the house, makes it a smart home. Boom. Okay? All right, when you go through this closet now, it's not a closet, but it is the water closet. Nice pedestal sink. You got a nice orange peel texture. And I, look, I like how they, again, maximize the space because they usually have this as like a storage thing, um, uh, like a little storage area, but they put the, the bathroom, a little bathroom in here, which is nice. Okay? And over here is a nice closet, decent closet. You can hang your coats, put your shoes in there. Nice and deep. Okay? Yeah, man. And look, this house is 1,963 square feet. So you can tell they're really maximizing the space. The layout is nice. Yo, if you, if, you, if, you, if you don't remember anything, remember what I told you. Fall in love with the layout first. Then think about the upgrades. If you like the layout, then you can move from there. Nice feature wall. Like how they put the wood on there and they painted it all white to make it look like something to break up just the flatness of it, okay? I like how they, um, they got the dresser there with the TV. Uh-huh, show you, you know, they're just giving you ideas of how you could do your thing, you know? I love it, look, look, at the, look at the windows. Let me just stop right here and just move around a little bit. Look at the different windows, man. Natural lighting, I'm big on that. That's a beautiful fan, man, wow. That's a nice fan. Nice little island. Nice pantry, let me turn on the light in here. Yeah, space. You can choose your own self here. These are the basic shelves, but you can do anything, you can do what you want for yourself. I like the, the cabinets with the crown molding on it. Nice. Nice fridge with the machine grip on it. Nice. And look what they're showing you here. They're showing you what you can get for your door. Now you could get the, I don't know if you can see the, the numbers on it, there you go. It, it, when you press that, it lights up and then you can put your own code and make it a, a keyless entry, right? Smart deadbolt, which is pretty nice, all right? Or you can do your own vibe, you can do whatever you like. I love the backsplash here to make it, to try to make it look like uh, stack stone. It got a little stack stone vibe to it. Love the backsplash. You got inch on the slab 
undermount the sink. Goose, beautiful goose neck faucet. Nice. Dual sink. Look, let me ask you a question. You know, I, I know the thing for the dual sink, you know, this is garbage disposal right here. You know, you got the, the rocker switch for that. Sometimes you can get an upgrade and do a push button. But how y'all feel about the dual sink? Do you want one large sink or do you want a dual sink? Originally, I thought dual sink was for like if you're washing dishes and you got one soaped up here and you're rinsing out one right there, whatever have you. Um, how y'all feel about that? Do you rather the dual sink or you rather the one deep sink? Write down in the comments below and let me know, man. Okay? Nice cabinets. Let me pull this out. Of course, dovetails on the drawer. Ooh, it's not soft close. At least not that one. Let me try this one. Nope, it's not. <laughs> it's bounce close. Okay? I love the windowsill. How they got the wood on the windowsill. And they got the molding underneath there. That's pretty nice. Okay? Love this lighting feature. I mean, lighting fixture. Of course, natural lighting. Okay? And here go the back area. Right here. It's not, it's not gonna give you a complete opening. It is a regular, you know, walk outside. It's not like we're trying to transition the space to an indoor outdoor space. But what I like is the mesh. Now, not every time somebody's gonna wanna back y'all with the pool and the extra this and that, but this one is meshed out. So guess what? Zero bugs. Unless they flew in with you while, while you're walking in, because there's a door right there. So if you came in and you left it open long enough, maybe a couple of bugs will come in here. But besides that, you could literally sit out here and enjoy a bug-free outside env environment. Okay? Nice. Can lighting, they got a speaker, all that's upgrades. Beautiful. Look at the flooring. You can do whatever you like over here. Nice. Okay, and the space is big enough to do what you want to, and you're still entertaining. Look at that. So that's the way they made the inside outside. If you leave that door open, the only thing you're worried about is letting out that AC. That's it. Okay, nice. Love the lighting. Beautiful island. The sink is not an island, but guess what? You can eat here. They're showing you it's big enough for three seats. Um, you can put another seat right here, but you know. Temporarily, because people got to walk by here. But this is pretty nice, man. Nice. Okay? And, yeah, I like the little shape of it. All right, let's go. Love the baseboards. Love the molding on the baseboards. And I like how it transition to the door frame. That's beautiful. Let's go upstairs, man. Okay, when you walk in upstairs, it transitions to the carpet. You can do whatever you like. You can make this wood. You can make a carpet. You can do whatever. Okay, you're walking upstairs. A nice little sitting area. And they turned this part into a, a little study area. So look, instead of opening out this uh, staircase and have it be rods, they made us a little pony wall. So you could sit there and do homework or have a lab laptop or desktop there and study or surf the internet, whatever have you. Okay, nice little sitting area. Already I can see you can sit here, read books, have your laptop, whatever. Left or right? All right, let me go left. To the left, nice little washing room right here. Okay, laundry room. Got the sink, nice. You got a smart box here, you got cabinets. This is, honestly, this is efficient enough storage for all your detergents and cleaning supplies. Unless you're a clean, super clean freak and you got exotic stuff to clean with that you have a whole bunch. Of, I don't see what would you do to even run out of space here, okay? All right, let's, let's, let's go in here. This looks like it could be the master bedroom. Why? Cause I see that tray ceiling, baby. That's usually a dead give giveaway. And I love how that light, when the light is shining through there, how that light creates that texture on the ceiling. 
I know that's probably by accident or that could be on purpose, depending on the designer, but that is beautiful, man. I like how that was happening there, okay? Love the feature wall, right? Let me turn, let me turn around. Boom. Nice walk-in closet. Wow. This is pretty deep, okay? Nice little shelving. This is the regular shelving that comes with it. Pretty decent. So if this is the only closet in the bedroom, you know, this side is his. If she's feeling generous. And you know, all of this right here is hers, okay? Because she got shoes and all types of stuff. Here go uh, the bathroom. Two sinks, undermounted sink. Nice, an inch on the slab. And I like how they bring it up to right here. Because you know water's going to be bouncing and stuff. and. That'd be easy to clean and dry up. Nice little shower, big old seat. That's a decent seat for this big shower and a tub, okay? If you wanted to, you could probably try to make the shower bigger if you wanted to or keep the tub. Some people like that tub because they be stressful and they just wanna relax and soak off all that stress. Love the natural lighting, okay? And here go the water closet. Kaboom. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Beautiful, okay? All right. Nice, nice little shower, okay? And let's skedazzle. Let's go over here, man. You got the Honeywell on the AC, on the air conditioner or heat. You got beautiful, I like, cause this is the um, utility closet. Okay. And here go another bedroom. Nice, decent bedroom. This could easily be a nice guest room. Uh, nice. This is a nice walk-in closet. And honestly, the way this is deep, I can see another shelf go over here. Yeah, it's deep enough for that. I, honestly, but I don't know how far it will stick out. But nice shelf, maybe it might not work because there's not enough room right here. But this is deep enough to definitely put a shelf right here. But the the um the length of that shelf, it might not work. Okay, but it's a nice deep closet. All right, let's go. You got the bathroom over here, linen closet. Okay, nice undermounted sink. Nice drawers left, it's not soft clothes. So that show you can get soft clothes or balanced clothes. <laughs> nice little subway towels on the, the, the bath, shower, you got the tub. It's pretty nice, liking it. And this is the, you get these curtains that just goes, you know, halfway just to cover the splash. I don't know how I feel about that. I like my thing to cover the whole vibe because when I shower, I shower, boy. All right, let me know how y'all feel, all right? Nice room. They're saying you could use this as a study or an office. Look, if you can get that, you know, that pony wall right there with the study, then you should make this a little bedroom. That's just my opinion. And if you got a lot of people that need to do their thing, then you can keep this in here as a study or an office. But this one got a nice size closet as well. Okay. Pretty decent. And that's about it, man. This is a nice home. Tell me what y'all think about this home, man. Leave something down in the comments. Tell me I like the house. I hate the house. Love the natural lighting that's coming in right there. And let me know, man. And again, as usual, my name is Pierre Nicholson down here in beautiful South Florida. And if you want to continue seeing more videos like these, right, hit that subscribe button, man, and knock that notification bell, and you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. And if you're thinking about moving down here to beautiful South Florida, anywhere in West Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, then give me a call, send me a text, send me an email, even leave a comment down below, and I'll be glad to help. Again, this is Pierre Nicholson. Until next time, peace.